This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the New Orleans Investment Conference 2018. And with me right now is Daniel Major from GoVX Uranium. It's a publicly traded company, two symbols for you, GXU on the TSX Venture and GVXXF in the U.S. Daniel, welcome back to SNN Live. Thank you. Always appreciate to be here. It's always a pleasure having you. So for our audience, let's start off with an overview of the company, and we'll uh, go from there. Yeah, GoVX is a company that's focused on the uranium development of projects in Africa. We have three of them, two of them already permitted. So we last spoke with you in July 2018 at the Sprott Conference. You know, let's get an update and, and really focus on, you know, what's going on in the markets. Yeah, I mean, that has really been the key and it's driving what we're doing as well. From the market point of view, you obviously at the beginning of the year, you saw Cameco shut down their operation in the MacArthur River. More importantly, they then reiterated they're shutting it indefinitely and they're coming into the bar market to buy metal because it's cheaper to buy it and sell it f forward to make money that way. That has seen the metal price move. And that's what we were always predicting. And um, we talked about this last time I was here. And so what GoVX is therefore doing is basically getting itself ready for production. We've already appointed our um, consultants to do the engineering. Uh, they were done since we saw you guys as brought. We're working with the banks on sorting out the debt. So GoVX and starting on the offtake conversation. So that, that's really what we're doing. We have always said that when the market recovers, GoVX is one of the few companies that can turn it into production and turn it into cash flow. So you're more or less been waiting around for this moment in time to happen. Is that, that's kind of what I'm hearing. Yeah, kind of waiting around, but you know, we've been doing things oh, in the back. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. no, I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, what we have been doing is conserving capital and using that capital that we've got in a, in a value-add way. So we did a couple of small acquisitions. We consolidated ground on a localized basis. We spend a lot of time and effort looking at our project and seeing what we can do to optimize it, because that is the key. I mean, we have a, a $24 cash cost. That's equivalent to an ISR in the US, you know, but this is a 21-year mine life producing 3 million pounds per annum. So we've been saying, all right, what can we can do to bring that OPEX down? What can we bring the CAPEX down? And that's what the engineering team is working on at the moment, is taking those things that we've been working on while the uranium market was flatter. So where do you see the uranium market now going into 2019? Um, slow and steady upwards. Uh, I think that's very much, we've seen this already, that the market's now in deficit. Um, you've had production cuts from the Kazakhstan, you from Cameco, you've had a reduction in enrichment capacity coming through. So it's actually in structural deficit. But more importantly, what Cameco is doing is by buying that material, it's also sucking out inventory, spare inventory that's no longer needed, which is just tightening that up. And so you're going to see a slow and steady price up. At some point in that process, that term contract market that we all need is going to move. Uh, when that occurs and, and then Cameco starts locking in, that's going to be really basically telling you where the market needs to be. And then also, you know, from what you can tell me, and you, you alluded to this a little bit earlier, you know, what are some of the companies now value catalysts also moving into 2019? From our point of view, a value cat I mean, our value catalyst is very much about that ability to go from being a developer to being a producer. If you look at the, uh, an average, and we have a chart in our, in our presentation, it's about a double. So, you know, my comment to most investors is that all uranium companies will go up in value as a result of the uranium price. It's immaterial, you know, no matter what, whether it goes good or bad company. We are one of the few can actually get that extra re-rate that you require. And that's what Paladin Resources did in the last cycle. And we mention this often, you know, they went from seven cents to seven and a half dollars. Why? Because they went and built two projects in Africa. And that's exactly what we're doing. We built a pipeline of projects. Now we have to start delivering on them. And where can our audience go and find more information about GoVX Uranium? Obviously on our website at www.govx.com. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're here at the New Orleans Investment Conference 2018. And with me again has been Daniel Major from GoVX Uranium, publicly traded company, two symbols for you, GXU on the TSX Venture, and GVXXF in the U.S. Daniel, always a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks. Take care.